God bless you. Bishop Wooden here. Hey, I'm just thinking. Last week about this time, I was uh, over at my daughter and son-in-law's house, upstairs in an easy chair, watching the football game, waiting for Thanksgiving dinner. And the dinner was worth the wait. We had just had our uh, big Thanksgiving Day service here at the Upper Room. And oh my, it was, I tell you, it was one of our best, if not the best. Very well attended. The saints came out. The word of the Lord went forth. And we talked about the role that gratitude plays in being made whole. And what a service it was. And so now, here we are a week later. Thanksgiving has passed. We're into now uh, the, the Christmas season. So I guess I could start already. It's not December yet, but check this out. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I said it, and I plan on saying it all the way up to that day. And I pray that everyone who, who's watching during this time of the year, you know, we have this battle. It, it, isn't it amazing when you watch the commercials, how they dance? They come up with uh, new ways. I mean, just uh, n they invent ways to get around saying Christmas or Merry Christmas. It's, and, and, and it's just amazing. These marketers, they're godless. And uh, I still say, I still say to you, you should support businesses that include Merry Christmas in their greetings at Christmas time. I pray that you do it. I think that if one year, just in one, one of these old days, if the Christian buying public, the born again would just say, you know what, since it's not Christmas, we're just going to set this one out. I guarantee you, next year around July, they will start displaying Merry Christmas in stores because the financial hit will be so great that they will know that we mean business. And the overall point of this is many things happen in society today because we Christians tolerate so much and we're not willing to fight. So, uh, a Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And tonight we are having service. I have a word uh, for you tonight. It seems to me God is always speaking and the Lord is saying things. And I can't wait to share this word with you tonight. I'm going to be teaching from the subject, help me or helping me help myself. You know, there is a, a, a mutual sharing of burdens uh, in the body of Christ. There is a interconnectedness in the body of Christ. And then there is a, a work that God has given us all to do. And so I'm excited about talking to you about the word of the Lord tonight. It's going to bless you real good. Come on out. We'll be here on time. And we're going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless you. I'll see you tonight.